Hello all, welcome to Pebbles. Myself Manmi presenting Mom's Diary to you. So the chapter which we are opening from today's Mom Diary is regarding the misunderstandings which are created between our friends, our relative in our family. So mostly these things happen that uh, when we are staying together or uh, when we are uh, in friendship with someone or this happened with our normal friends also that mostly we end up with misunderstandings and that lead to a breakup and maybe in family they, uh, that creates lots of problem. Misunderstanding can be between a husband and wife, mother and daughter, son and father, mother and son, father and daughter, anywhere. It's not that till you are not in a relationship you are not having a misunderstanding. No, if you are staying in a family also, then also you can have a misunderstanding. So, the one cause which I believe is of misunderstanding is due to lack of listening. Mostly, we lack in listening the things of the others. How? You will say, how? Just listening can lead to misunderstanding. I tell you. I'll tell you a small story about a boy. What happened? A boy was sitting in the class. The maths teacher asked him one question. Adharv, if you are having two mangoes and two mangoes, how many mangoes are there? So Adharv was five mangoes. So the uh, class teacher was like, Adharv, I'm saying if you are having two mangoes and again I give you more two mangoes so how many mangoes are you having so again the boy said five so class teacher striked it out and uh, she said uh, no his mother told that uh, he don't like mangoes he likes strawberry so again teacher asked the boy dear if I ha if you are having two strawberries and I give you two more how many strawberries you are having so the boy said four so teacher understood that the boy is clear with the maths logic but maybe he's not liking the mango so he said that way so again teacher asked dear if you are having two mangoes and I give you more two mangoes so how many mangoes are there with you so he again said five teacher was really exhausted and frustrated now he was like uh, the teacher was like what this guy is doing i'm asking regarding the strawberries he's giving correct answer i'm rega asking regarding the mangoes he's giving wrong answer why this is happening so what happened that boy was already having one mango in his bag so he was not wrong. Teacher was giving him two mangoes. Two mangoes he himself had and one mango he had in his bag. So that are equivalent to five. And teacher was asking a problem because teacher was not knowing that the mango is in the bag. So misunderstandings are also like this only. One person is correct at his end other person is correct is isn't the only thing which we are missing is the listening part if teacher had listened to the boy that he is having a one mango in the bag so maybe teacher wouldn't find him wrong and if the boy listened that just you have to answer what teacher is asking what teacher is giving you don't have to include your extra knowledge so maybe teacher is right not teacher was wrong not boy was wrong what was wrong just the situation and the way so I just want to tell this only only the situations are wrong only the time is wrong because on that day only Adhar was having mango in his bag when teacher was asking the question maybe the time is also wrong you can say but Try to be a good listener. Till the time you are not a good listener, misunderstandings will be continued in a relationship. Very vastly and very quickly. 
you have to reduce that and you can only reduce that through being a good listener you have to listen to the points what others are saying what others are feeling how they are feeling we have to make a point to respect others feeling also it's very 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 much important till the time we will not come from this end this end in between till that time we will be leading to misunderstandings and that can destroy a relationship also and this for mostly happens if we are not resolving the misunderstandings on time so the relationships are really destroyed and which are very painful too so try to avoid your misunderstandings there are only two tricks to avoid misunderstandings first sometimes listen what other is saying and second is that sometime let it go now how you will say that sometime listen and sometime let it go how see what happens uh, sometime our mother scold us okay why you are not doing this why you are not doing that so uh, mostly we answer back we don't want to do this we are not doing it we reply her back so what happens mother get more angry and she's like you don't listen to me i'm just speaking and you never listen to me it leads to a this hurting or you can say a painful heart to a mother and it also created a misunderstanding between a child and a mother that mother is thinking the child is not listening to me and child is saying mother don't listen to me whatever i say she says it's wrong whatever i do she says it's wrong so it leaded to a misunderstanding but if a child has listened to the mother what she was saying so mother would also be happy she would say okay with one two days things get away and sometimes if someone say you something like mother only say you are useless you are not doing that so that doesn't mean that she means that you are lose, useless because she doesn't mean that that you are useless because never a mother will think that you are a useless person so let them go the things because after 2 3 days things get positive things get normal whatever happens 2 3 days or 2 3 months things get normal with time there are things getting normal but on that point of time if you say something very pinchy and if you say something which is not good so that remains after 2 3 months or you say after years and decades also the person remembers yeah that person said me that thing i remembered at that time maybe he is talking to you he is uh, sitting with you he is eating with you but things remember in the mind some people say some people don't say but things are always there here and few things which are related to emotional touch are always here so while you are speaking anything or while you are listening anything be aware of this thing very much that try to avoid things which can create misunderstanding this will make your life heaven i'm <laughs> telling you this will make your life heaven so try to avoid misunderstanding and be a good listener and try to avoid the things sometime not person things what they are saying if you are not liking it move away from there divert your mind somewhere the thing which you like most some people like music some people like films so try to divert your mind mind there if you are uh, liking reading divert your mind there so this will not happen if i give you a very small example uh, regarding mother in law and daughter in law so mostly there are some tips and quits between mother in laws and daughter in laws so try to avoid the trips if mother in law is saying something you can divert your mind mind anywhere if you are not liking the thing which she is saying so bef- rather than answering her back or uh, just having a tiff you can just avoid the thing and uh, you can make your mind somewhere else you can uh, see a mobile youtube or whatever whatever thing you like music dance movie reading a book 
um, go for a walk. If you are not liking much, go for a walk. And after 15, 20 minutes, when you will be calm and the things will not go so bad as it could have been gone if you have replied back. Okay, then one day she will also realize, I am speaking, she is not saying anything, leave it. So, the things get normal if you be a good listener and sometimes you avoid the things. So, I would just say, sometimes in some emotional touch, try to avoid the things so that it don't lead to quarrels. So, on this note, I would just say, always always try your best level to avoid misunderstanding in any relationship this will be making you more than happy so on this note i sign off from you and as in all my videos i say be happy and be positive so you will be winning the world so always be positive and be happy always have positivity yes this can happen this uh, this is due to this this is due to this so you will not have misunderstanding have a positive nature have a happy mind happy heart and uh, misunderstandings will never lead and you will have a happy go lucky life so all the best for it and on this note i say a bye bye and take care